Well guys, welcome back to another video. If you do enjoy the videos, do take time to hit the like button, give them a share, and also if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe and the bell icon to get regular updates and notifications when I upload new videos. So, what are we talking about today? Well, we're actually talking fishing bags that I like to use, and I've got a couple with me that I'm gonna show you that are two of my most used bags. I put a link in the description box below to both the rucksacks in case you're interested in purchasing them. I'm not getting any commission or anything guys, so don't worry about that, it's just me trying to give you what I use and my advice. So, first up is the following, and that is a 20 litre Miltec Patrol Molly rucksack. Lovely rucksacks these, really one of them. I've had this one a long time guys. Must be around about eight or nine years, maybe more nearer, nearer coming up to nine. Really, really nice rucksack. And you know, I do feel a lot of the um, tackle companies, although the rucksacks are getting better, I still don't think they come up to the standards of military style rucksacks that have got molly systems. And by molly systems, I mean compression straps and these are the mollies. You've got your nice areas that you can connect carabiners to, slide items through, and in my case, what I tend to do, as you can see there, down the side, you've got molly attachments. And I slide my landing net pole down there, my bank sticks down there, and with the compression strap set up, you've got, get my landing mat in there, all down the side, everything's streamlined, easy to carry, and very, very comfortable. Now these used to retail for like 23, 24 pounds, but these days, these ones, as I say, this is 20 litre Miltec Patrol Molly rucksack. And these are around about, can be as high as 33 pound these days, but they're really good, really comfortable, really well padded. And I'll go into all the other compartments and that, that this particular rucksack has got. As you can see, You've even got molly straps here as well, so you can slide items of tackle like I've done with my catapult. And also you can get, as I say, your bits and bobs like your bank sticks down the side. So you, if you're like me and you're not in a swim always too long, you can just stick the bank sticks straight down the side of the rucksack, move on, and it's not cumbersome. Now, like any angler, I mean, I have got the old fishing rucksack. When I say fishing, I mean fishing branded rucksack. I've got a Drennan Super Specialist rucksack. And don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a nice rucksack, but even now I do feel the fishing rucksacks lag behind army surplus or military style rucksacks when it comes to the quality of the materials used, the longevity. And then there's the prices. Some of the rucksack prices, I mean, they're ridiculous for the quality that they aren't. Um, I've had some that have fallen apart from well-known brands, which I won't be naming because they don't deserve any any advertisement. Even the Drennan rucksack, whilst it's a nice rucksack, it's not particularly well-lined. Um, in the lid of that, you've got a plastic, plastic perspex pocket, which is um, a plastic stitched-on perspex area with zip for your accessories, like, say, your rigs or your line, your hooks, packs of hooks, and even that can go brittle, can break, and let you down to be honest. So I'm gonna move on to the other rucksack because they are quite contrasting rucksacks. Now, this particular one, if you can see it quite well, this is what I'd call a satchel, canvas satchel rucksack. It's by a company called Brandit and it's a Brandit Bundeswehr Hunter's Backpack. Now it is canvas, so if you are going to use that, out in all weathers, I would suggest that you use some Fab Seal or some waterproofing on it first, let that really dry in and you get a nice waterproof bag. Really, once again, this is a more, as I say, more simplified rucksack or backpack. So you've got one main area, one main pocket inside, and you've got two side pockets, which are brilliant. The side pockets fit water bottles great. So if you're, you know, you know, you need, you need to have a good bit of water with you on a hot summer's day, or you've got your flask with you, you just slide it into those pockets. But that's a very nice rucksack. And that retails for around about 25 to 27 pounds. But contrasting styles, it's, um, as I say, very kind of German, as the name would suggest, with the um, Bundeswehr 
Um, it's a very German style satchel rucksack. Very good though. Both the rucksacks do come with waist straps that you can detach. So on both mine I don't have the waist strap on. Um, that's mainly because if I'm m moving from swims I don't really want to be bothered putting it on but the, the option is there if you should so wish and you want the extra support. Out of the two bags I've got to say that the Miltech, this one, fits the contours of your back better and um, it's very comfortable. Right, let's go on to the actual compartments on the Miltech rucksack. And we're also going to the actual lining. Now bear in mind, as I said, this is coming up from nine years old, so it's seen a lot of action, seen a lot of hawthorns, a lot of bramble, and it's, um, it's done well, really well. So, you've got your main compartment, the first main compartment inside, and that splits right down the middle so you can access everything quite easy. You could lay it flat if you wanted to. Now, the material what I like with this, and this, bear in mind, is getting on a bit now. But inside, as you can see there, that's rubberized. So that stops any rain from ingressing from the outside through to the inside. Mine is getting a bit tatty though. Going back to the <laughs> main compartment, as you can see there you've got a mesh pocket area, don't mind the bog roll. <laughs> um, nice lot of space in the main pocket, as I say the overall size of this litre wise is 21 litres. If I turn it round, you'll also see a nice little zip pocket there, I usually use that to store my permits in or hooks, split shot, other bits of tackle. Moving on to the back of the rucksack, here you've got a very strong pocket as well, and that is actually for a bladder. So, you know, what a bladder is, any of you that go out bushcrafting or go out hiking, a bladder is a water reservoir that you can slide in a bag and usually has a straw, I say straw or tube that comes out so you can get a drink. But what I use this pocket for personally, I usually use it for storing my forceps, um, side cutters, pliers, etc. And um, it's well padded so they don't tend to stick into your back. Second front pocket, once again, very well rubberized really nice rubberizing so you can't get any ingress of water second pocket once again you've got a smaller little mesh area and pockets two pockets there for putting any little bits and pieces in and that's got a nice adequate depth to it as well front top pocket once again all rubberized and um, tend to use this for once again for um, night lights a little nice little pocket for putting your sunglasses in your Polaroids in as well and the zips the zips are super real high quality I've never had an issue over all the years that I've used it I haven't had a zip come away I haven't had a zip break on me and moving on to the last pocket once again this is the um, front pocket. I tend to put in my accessory box in here, which will have my leisure rigs if I'm out barbel fishing, I have all my other bits and pieces like baiting needles, etc. As you can see, once again, nice size to get a little tackle tub in. And um, once again, all strong zips, and I can't really, guys, I can't fault it whatsoever. It's been very good to me, and I, would I buy another one should this one ever give up the ghost. I wouldn't even hesitate. Ups, absolutely superb. I'm going back onto the mill, the actual molly features. You've got mollies all the way up so you can connect like I've done here, carabiners, so you can attach extra bits of tackle should you need to do so. And that for me is travelling light as far as I'm concerned, you know. Not a massive rucksack, but not small. And bear in mind, I take camera gear with me because I do fish, fish, um, film fishing videos. So now we'll move on to the other one. Just 
draw myself back. As you can see, it's quite a different style. It is a little bit larger than the Miltech, and it is, as I say, it's like one main compartment. It's a, basically a satchel bag style. Once again, this has got this is all canvas. This one, okay? So don't expect any waterproofing. There's a certain level that canvas has got to it, but you do need to waterproof it if you want, you know, 100% rainproof properties. Nice padded arm straps or shoulder straps. Once again, this has got a waist strap as well. Similar in the sense to the uh, Miltech bag, you've got Molly connectors here, which I use sideways on to put my bank stick through. I can move swim, slip it, bang stick in, and then move to another swim, slide it out. Very nice and straightforward. You've got nice little connectors here, which I use usually for putting carabiners on or connecting a um, landing mat to. The main compartment is drawstring, so just pull it in, tie it up to close it. Fairly cavernous inside, if you, I can show you, if it will let me. <laughs> Fairly cavernous inside, you've got a little Velcro area here, little Velcro pocket. Right there, and that is actually Generally, you would use that to put padding down the back to give you a bit more padding, like a padding board, um, to give you a bit more padding on your back. But I don't do that. I usually slip my my tackle box in the, in the back and find it reasonably comfortable. I say reasonably. It's not bad. It's um, not as well padded as the Miltech in that sense, but it suffices. What's nice with this particular rucksack as well, Look at that. I mean, you're getting, you, over the last few years, you get the well-known tackle manufacturers, your Corums, uh, and a few of the others, like Drennan, etc., ProLogic, and they, they all go, oh, nice white base bottom, easy to wipe. I'm not being funny, guys. A lot of the military surplus and military rucksacks have had that <laughs> feature a long time, and this is no exception. Complete white clean bottom, so, you know, if you not one for getting your car too dirty when you're packed up from a winter fishing or a wet summers or spring days fishing then you can just wipe that over wipe it clean stick it in your car you haven't got to worry about any issues with mud but you know that's what i those two rucksacks are two of my favorites they get used the most um get a hell of a lot of use especially the miltech as well um as i say it's um the miltech that's that one, the first one I showed you, just to remind you guys. That rucksack, if I was to pick any rucksack, that would be my my main choice. It's, it's quality, really is. And being welded or welted rubber internally, that gives it so much waterproof protection. And it's rugged, the zips are heavy duty. It's got all the molly connectors that you could want. You, you know, I can get, if I want to, I could get four banks that slid down the side. Um, and it's just so hard wearing, wonderfully hard wearing. Um, I mean, it's gone up in price. You can shop about and get similar copies to the Miltech and you can get them cheaper. But I'm not obviously going to say how good they are because I don't know. So I tend to, you know, I, if I was buying again, I'd buy the Miltech now. These days it is around about 33, 34 pounds, but you're getting a quality bag, believe me. Now I can get in that, I can get, I can get a flask of tea, I can get a couple of bottles, 500 ml bottles of water, I can get bait for overnight, you know, fishing evening to early mornings for barbel. And um, I can get my camera gear in there, you know, so it works well for me. I can't fault it whatsoever. And the other one, the uh, Brandit Wunderswehr Hunter's Satchel Rucksack, much the same. Um, what I will say is being a less um, rigid or, should I say, less well-formed to go into the nape of your back, um, it does hang more like a satchel would tend to do, so it can be a bit slouchy. But I'm not knocking it. Believe me, guys, I really love using those type of rucksacks. What I would say to you, um, chaps, is um, look on your online, look at your um, army surplus stores, check your clearance sections for um, rucksacks that are being sold a lot cheaper. A few years back, I got a pair of similar ones to this, but they're smaller. They're um, German, known what they were being sold as, sold as was German um, German satchel school school rucksacks and they were olive green lovely same same with the two little pockets 
on the sides for putting your drink in and I picked them up for around about five pound each bought two of them one of them's on my bike now as a pannier bag um, and they're still going strong and they were a bargain that was just looking about online at all your army surplus like military first and there's if you just google army surplus stores and search the clearance aisles you can invariably pick up some very good clearance rucksacks and as I say generally I mean as I say although I've got adrenaline rucksack and I've had a few fishing rucksacks I wouldn't I wouldn't even touch them over military style molly bags where you can connect extra bank sticks rod rests to and they're just on a whole the longevity the quality of the material the tackle company's got a long way to come with um, being up to spec with their rucksacks in my opinion and yet they still seem to be quite happy to charge an arm and a leg and a kidney 50 60 quid for a rucksack when you know anyone who's into their hiking or bushcraft or knows about army surplus or mil in this case obviously miltech uh, as well as um, brandy and and um, other army surplus knows that they're going to get a can get a cheaper rucksack that's a lot better quality than a fishing one but once again it's all in the sales spiel it's all in the um you know oh, i've got a quorum bag oh, i've got a adrenaline bag or oh, you know and being one of the boys in a way it seems to me at times and um don't do that guys buy buy a quality rucksack and base it on what's comfortable what fits your wallet and also is quality and has good longevity to it as well as all the options to connect things to as i say so much better than your well-known fishing brands anyway that's it i hope i haven't waffled on too much just wanted to share you guys because i get a lot of you asking me you know mark what rucksacks do you use what bags do you use with your fishing um and i uh, just wanted to share that little bit of information with you chaps anyway hope you're all keeping good and i'll see you on another video take care chaps